Well, JBI is in the process of updating their critical appraisal tools to move from a critical appraisal framework to a risk of bias framework for quantitative systematic reviews. And so it's important that users of the JBI tools um, understand the differences between these terms and um, other terms that are commonly referred to in the literature. So critical appraisal stems from the evidence-based medicine movement back in the 1980s as a way for clinicians to evaluate studies for their trustworthiness, value and relevance in a particular context. Um, it uses a broad set of criteria uh, that focus on whether the study used a clear research question, whether the study methods were valid, whether the results of the study are important, and whether they are applicable to the patient or population of interest. The purpose of critical appraisal is to evaluate studies for their usefulness in terms of how they guide evidence-based practice and education. So risk of bias, on the other hand, is a specific term that is relevant to study evaluation in quantitative systematic reviews, and it's specifically looking at the potential for bias in the results of included studies. And this might be due to uh, study design features, uh, such as a lack of randomization or blinding, or it may, be, it may occur during the um, conduct of the study or during the analysis of the results. So when we talk about bias, we're really talking about systematic error. And what this means is whether the result of a study um, that we observe in the study is different to what is true. Study quality is a broad concept that is not well defined. It is largely based on the constructs of interest to the person making the assessment. So one of these constructs might be potential for bias, but it might also be something like reporting quality or applicability or um, considerations made by the authors for, for the ethics of the study or reproducibility. And, th and there's many others that could be included in a quality assessment. So methodological quality is a term that's often used interchangeably with risk of bias. However, there tends to be some muddling of the questions or the items included in a methodological quality assessment tool with the broader quality domain. And so it's really important that users of tools understand what it is they're assessing and what the intentions of the tool developers are and understand what the items are referring to in a tool because sometimes tool developers get this wrong too. And so often you'll find risk of bias tools and methodological quality assessment tools um, with items unrelated to bias. These terms are branded in various ways in the literature and what we really want from this paper is for readers and JBI reviewers to understand the differences and the overlap in these terms and to formalise our shift um, to risk of bias assessment moving forward.